Shelby Michelle with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. So we have another home tour which we're really excited. They've been really popular and we're at Thistlewood Farms. You gotta tell them. So I actually grew up in this house. Um, I lived here my whole life y'all in this living room that we're in right now. This is where I was had celebrated Christmas like my whole life here. And I know, I know, right? Right in this very spot, like when I was tiny. Oh. And my children took their first steps in this house, had the first kiss with my husband right outside on the <laughs> curb. And then um, when my dad passed away, my mom sold the house to another couple. And when we moved back from Kentucky to Texas, I just called up the lady on the phone and said, hey, is there any way you would sell me your home? Because by the way, I used to live there my whole life. And she said, yes. And so we bought it back. That's what? amazing. That's an incredible story. Okay, so you've been sharing your home online for how long? Oh my gosh, I've had the blogs. I've had Thistlewood Farm since um, the very, very end of 2011. Okay. So I started sharing my farmhouse in Kentucky. And then um, I, when we bought this house, I we did a complete... We got in the bathrooms and the kitchen and everything and took everybody along yeah. on the ride for the journey. And it was, it's just like so much joy to get to honor kind of um, the home where you grew up in and yes. get to go home again. Yeah. And the home is a hundred over 110 years old. Wow. So it has seen some parties. Let me tell you. <laughs> I've been present for a few of them, so, but yeah. just some like really cool things. So in this living room, I had my sweet 16 birthday party and I have twin daughters and they had their sweet 16 birthday party oh. in here. I know, right? That's amazing. Does it get That's any better amazing. than that? This is actually the main living room when okay. you walk into the home um, and it has this amazing, incredible bay window over here mm -hmm. that might actually just refinish this fun table. I'm really big into yard sale finds and um, thrift store finds. So if anybody has any questions, yes. just ask them in the comments because I'm all about sharing a good yard sale okay. story where I yeah. get everything. What do you call your style in this space? Yeah. Oh gosh, I just call it kind of colorful, classic eclectic yeah I think is a good term for it so I love color um, it just makes me happy I love blue and white yeah um, and kind of my fun little decorating journey is I started with blue and white I was all about it and then I kind of went back to farmhouse a little more neutral and then one day I found these amazing blue and white pillows at a yard sale and I was like let's go like <laughs> And I found this incredible rug, which let's go. You're famous. This, this rug is yes. famous. Yeah. So, and the secret in this space really is that most of the furnishings are neutral. So the larger upholster pieces are neutral, but it pops it out with that beautiful mm, yeah. blue and white rug. A real trend right now, which I love, is um, the white walls. And this is an incredible white. If you're looking for a pure white, um, Sherwin Williams extra white is like let's go. Yeah. It's like we're all complete about absence of color. So yeah. you're um, not gonna get any funky undertone nope. or anything. No. Nope. And then I love that when we go into the dining room in just a minute, you'll see it's the complete antithesis of this room with dark walls and lighter furniture. Well let's yeah, not wait. Let's talk about that. That I mean so you did, what is that color? Is that wallpaper? Oh, is that no. So there's actually a treatment on the walls, which is totally amazing. My sister in high school used, um, you know those combs that you like clip your hair up with? <laughs> She put drywall mud on there and dragged a comb through the in mud. In high school? In high school. <laughs> and made this incredible plaster finish on the walls in there. And it, I loved it so much. I was like, let's, plus the history too. My sister with a comb, you know. Yeah. And then um, the walls are painted in there. Sherwin Williams and Navel, which is, a oh, sunny, the perfect, yeah. perfect. It was their color of the year. Um, two, two years, years ago, ago and mm -hmm. that's when I did it and I was like so, I've been in love with it ever since. Is your sister an artist? She did is. Did she make that up? I, I think she was a little bit before her time. Right. I remember in high school going, what is she doing? Well, why? Like, <laughs> does she but have now a, I'm so happy. Yeah. Does she have a DIY blog? She, she doesn't really have a blog. She has an art studio. Okay. And um, she offers art classes online and all kinds of fun okay. stuff like that. But yeah, she is, I'm the oldest of five kids and we're all a little bit, um, Creative. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that actually is a handmade abacus that I, it's a DIY on the blog. It's made from fishing lures. So. Wow. Okay. We'll link to all the DIYs yeah. in the room, but you have a lot. So we're yeah. going to Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You might need to come back for another tour. Yeah. So let's talk about 
This is you. This is your entry. Yeah. Well, yes. This is the back door here. Okay. Um, and then this is the entry, and this is original to the home. The okay. staircase is original. Everything. Mm -hmm. The wood that's in here is all 110 years old and was part of the original wow. um, house. So I love the mix matchy of your mirrors. Normally, people just do one certain frame or style, and you have just every eclectic mix. Well, and, and there, there's a reason for that because they were all bought at yard sales. So. <laughs> bought and I was like oh that looks cute I think that one will fit yeah. oh this one oh it doesn't have a frame oh no worries like yeah. so. so you you have a lot of stories in here there's some history in this space there right? is a little bit and um, there are actually a lot of thrift store finds big okay. shock and um, this hutch right here was $75 at the local restore if you if anyone that's watching this is within you know an hour to drive of McKinney the restore McKinney is thrift store gold. Okay. It's incredible. Oh. Absolutely. Like, oh my gosh. This piece right here was my husband's um, grandmother's. And so we took it and just kind of did a little bit of de-stressing. Um, so we call it the Grandma Woody um, dresser. Mm -hmm. So yeah, super fun. And then um, this chandelier is original to the house as well mm -hmm. too. So It's so Beautiful. pretty. Mm -hmm. Now right behind you is the bathroom. Yeah. And this is our downstairs guest bathroom. And actually y'all, I stood in that bathroom on my wedding day. And I was all ready to go, you know, I had my hot rollers in, I had my red lipstick on, my blue eyeshadow, you know, yeah. I'm all ready to go to the wedding. And um, I read somewhere in Dear Abby that while you're at the wedding, people come and come into your home and take your wedding presents. And so I was very concerned that this was going to happen. <laughs> so I told my mom, I need the, we had a German Shepherd at the time, I need the German Shepherd in the house to guard the presents. The daughter, <laughs> her name was Katrina. She was our German Shepherd. And my mom said no. And I said, I'm not going to the wedding then. And I lay down on that exact <laughs> tile floor. Oh my. In that exact floor right there. In my wedding dress with my hot rollers in my hair. And informed my mother I was not moving off of the floor until she would move. <laughs> Did anyone okay. get a picture of that? No, that would have been epic, but nobody did. <laughs> and so, so my mom eventually gave in, and I was 15 minutes late to the wedding, but my hair like looked amazing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Those hot rollers next day, dude. Oh my gosh. But, okay, this floor is trending right now. So, uh, it's coming back around. Yeah. And there's the original heater that's in there, too. Um, we actually redid the back. It used to go completely through to the other side. Okay. But we redid it and added the shower in yeah. the back to the air to kind of make it more of a functional downstairs. I love the, sweet. the color of the wall. Yes. Isn't that fun? It's called Let It Rain by Sherwin-Williams. Let It Rain. So, yeah. It's an amazing color. Okay. I love that color, too. And So, this is an office. Do, do yes, know? that's actually, um, so the color on the wall is the same color in here. It's Sherwin-Williams Sandbar. And that desk in there is my father's desk. Oh. And so when we bought the house, I got it for my mom and put it right back because he always would sit there and kind of, you know, hand out words of wisdom to all oh, of us from that desk. And so sweet. now I sit there and write my books and write my blogs and all of that fun oh, stuff. And it's like a little bit of him in the office, so. I love that. We love it. But I used to work at the Dairy Queen right down the road. I made blizzards in high school. <laughs> and I would come into this office in my Dairy Queen apron covered with like banana split or whatever I had. And I would sit in the little chairs there and listen to my dad. And he would, you know, tell me all about work ethic and working hard and mm -hmm. how you, you know, that working at Dairy Queen, no matter what you're doing in life, you should do it to the very best of your ability. Yeah. If you didn't have these things, though, you wouldn't have the story. Yeah. And every day remembering the story yeah. when you, everything yes. you do at that yeah. desk now, you yes. do it with the thought of your father in mind. Yes. Yeah. And people always say, Karin, you're so happy. I'm like, how could I not be happy? Like, I live in this home with yeah. all of the stories and all of the love of all of my family that just surrounds me every single day like I count my blessings every single day for this beautiful home mm. we're in your kitchen and was this a full remodel or was this yes actually this is the kitchen when I grew up it looked like this it was one big room okay and then somewhere around in high school I think my mom added a wall right here where this island sticks out. And I can remember being in high school going, 
Um, well, I'm not really sure about that wall situation. Like, it closed the kitchen and made it so much smaller. Was she trying to do the dining room? She actually did a butler's pantry okay. over there. So it was, which made sense. Sure. Kind of logistically. Because <laughs> as you walked around the corner, then you, the dining room's right there. And so, but I always felt like the, the, the room should be opened up. Yeah. So when we bought the house back, I called my mom on the phone. And I say, Mom, I'm standing in the kitchen. We have officially got the house. And my mom's like, oh, and she's crying. She's like, this is the best day ever. Like, it's so amazing. <laughs> and I'm like, well, you're about to cry. Because hold on, cry no more. <laughs> and I get this sledgehammer, and you hear him like, Pow! like oh. me hitting the wall, like oh. knocking the wall down. I said, the wall is coming down. And she was like, no. Oh, she, she, still liked it. It. she still liked it. But now that it's all opened back up, I mean, it's just more functional and then you know in here we can have someone doing homework there somebody could be cooking here you know somebody can be um you know just doing something on this side there's there's really three different areas yeah in the room, so. yeah. yeah and you have marble counters yes and, and you said you're not the hugest fan i marble. love the look of marble i think it is beautiful yeah. and like it makes me so happy when i come in if i just don't look too close at it yeah because the problem with marble is it scratches very easily and if you put like a wet drink down or something it makes little rings but i call that character character <laughs> yes <laughs> that's yes. what it is kind of like everything else in the house so yeah. then now the countertops fit right yeah. in yeah. But yeah 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 and i love that it's you've got the painted island and then white cabinets you got a mix more yeah, this is this is an amazing color this is um sure one was peppercorn peppercorn and use that i it's love beautiful. it's just such a pretty it's the same the butler's pantry in there the bottom is painted okay. one other thing too is i love these were these actually these cabinets behind you were actually in the original butler's pantry over there Aww. and so we moved them around and had them cut to fit here um but i love if you want if, if you have a smaller kitchen and you're looking for just a simple tip to update it i love the idea of open cabinets just yeah. because you know and, and all these are white dishes from yard sales and yeah. then the clear glasses or the white coffee mugs it's just a simple way to kind of i don't know extend the walls of the kitchen a little yeah bit. yes yeah, it really opens it up so you have some fun diys yes in here. So we have this amazing plate rack over here that my husband built. Um, I have the instructions for it on the blog. It is it literally, you could do that entire plate rack top to bottom in about two hours. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a fun way. I am a giant believer in a kitchen. If you are going to use it, it should be out. Yeah. Because if mm -hmm. you hide it away in cabinets, so I even have like my silverware and a fun yeah. basket sitting here. I have my platters over there kind of on the plate rack. I have my glasses where you can see them. I have, you know, all my bowls and um, the top part of the cabinets. I am just a giant believer in yeah. having it out and decorating with it and then you're going to be so much more likely to use it. That's a good yes. point. Yeah. We so, agree with that. So this is actually a vintage pool um, cue rack that I found kind of abandoned at the thrift store and I was like, what can I do with it? And we, my husband just added a piece of plywood to the back and we painted it and it's um, it's so fun. The kids leave notes on there. Their yeah. friends leave notes when they come to the house. And um, at Christmas time, I actually um, hang different ornaments off of it. It's just a fun way to decorate yeah, for the holidays. Really nice. yeah. okay, and then back over here, yeah. my, these are letters that my brother made. And um, he actually made the letter to try to, he wanted to adopt a, my sweet little niece, Mia Kate, and he is a minister, and he didn't have any, you know, adopting is very expensive, and he didn't really have a revenue stream that he could adopt, and I said, well, let me put him on the blog and, like, tell people how to make these letters, and he was like, tell them how to make it, and I'm like, well, if we tell them how to make it, most people really don't want to make it, they can't. and I'm like, especially when they could buy it for $39, and so, we said at the bottom, well, in case you want to buy it, here's a link to his Etsy shop. And we sold the letters in his Etsy shop and $40,000 worth of letters. Mm. My little sweet niece came home from China. Oh, so. wow. Literally everything in your house has a story. I know. Well, well, it doesn't, well, I don't like it sticking around unless it can entertain me. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So everything goes out of style unless. Unless it has meaningful. a story. Yeah. Yes. So you said that's your 
butler's pantry? Yes, well, it's a butler's pantry on one side and a laundry room on the other side. So we have a fun little way to hide the trash in there. It's a sliding barn door mm -hmm. that um, just slides over and then when you don't need the trash, you slide back and people don't know it's there. And your coffee bar? Yes, and there's a coffee bar also in the butler's pantry and um, again, more white dishes. So your living room, this is where you hang out mostly? Yes. So um, Family room? this is actually, um, this used to be the garage in the house okay. and now it's a family room. And in amazing news, when I was dating my super cute husband, my parents' room was right above. And so when we'd be sitting down making out in this room right here, we always knew if my parents were coming downstairs because you hear ding, 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 ding. <laughs> we just sit there like, oh, we're just watching this movie. Yeah. You know? so, that's awesome. But yeah, so it's, it's a fun space. I mean, it has those two really big slip covered couches. Yeah. So, um, and then also there's a game table in the back with these, those amazing chairs that I just got at a yard sale. Twenty dollars. I look at the tag. I don't have my glasses on, and I look at the tag, and I thought it said two hundred twenty dollars. And I was half a two hundred twenty. I was taking them, and I say, so he's with me, and I say, what? Okay, what does this tag say? And he's like, babe, it says twenty dollars. I say, get the twenty out of your pocket right now. I, <laughs> I think they're mismarked. And so he pulled twenty out, and we put them in the car, and like took off. Like so. <laughs> They're so, so cute. And I actually, some readers sent me the chairs online and they're actually um, antiques from Scotland. Wow. And they are any retail anywhere from $750 to $1,200. So, score. Cool. So, when are we going together? Let's, yeah, let's go. go. And the amazing thing about this home, um, you know, when y'all are touring it and looking around, I believe this in my heart of hearts. A home is made to be lived in. Yeah. I don't want this to be a museum. So if, you know, somebody was walking along and they bumped a table and chipped it, or, you know, a piece of whiteware fall, fell off and it broke, or if, you know, they knocked a platter off or something, I literally think there are so many more platters in the world. That's that, right. And I would rather that someone come into this home and they feel like they could kick off their shoes and sit on those slip-covered couches and relax and enjoy themselves and not worry. You can have a beautiful home yeah. that's lived in. And I just think we sometimes we should um, stress a little less about, yeah. definitely we want our spaces to be beautiful, but if you can't live in your spaces, then it makes people feel uncomfortable. And we just want only joy and happiness yeah. and people to be welcome. And if they want to come in and make a lap yeah. down on the couch and eat chocolate cake on that couch, like, let's go, yeah. like, let's right. go. Okay, so we have just toured your beautiful, 110 year old farmhouse yes and I mean I have too much inspiration in my brain mm -hmm. so but I'm a little emotional I'm the story. <laughs> like, I mean it's just been I mean I feel like we're family now like of this course is just, we're best we are Aww. bestest Friends. For sure, <laughs> BFFs. BFFs. <laughs> Where can we find you? You can find me at thistlewoodfarms.com. Okay. You can find me on Instagram at thistlewood. Mm -hmm. You can also find me on Pinterest at Thistlewood Farms and on Facebook at Thistlewood Farms. And I have I I watched a few of your new YouTube videos. <gasps> So we're gonna call you out. We're gonna get some subscribers over there. Okay, I love that. I would love it because I've just started this new fun thing on YouTube and it's what I bought Wednesday. Yes. Because Ooh. I do shop just a, a little, little bit. Just a tiny bit and I share some of this, just the fun stuff that I find yes. every Wednesday, so. Awesome. So yeah, so make sure you subscribe, follow all of those places. I am just, um, I just love every little, every single detail. I mean, yeah. in this room, like, this it's so is. cute. So, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends because they're going to want to follow yeah. this gal. She's amazing. amazing. So, have a good day.